huge news. What? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching episode number five of High School Musical the Musical series. Obviously things are going pretty downhill. Um, I've made it very clear that I am a Portwell fan. I appreciate that most of the people that watch my videos, most of the people that comment on my videos, um, at the very least, are not Portwell fans. However, I love them and <laughs> I'm not naive enough to think that they're not gonna break up. I'm very much aware of the fact that it's leading to a breakup. Like, it's very clear in the show that that's where the storyline's going. I'm just trying to enjoy it whilst I can because I love them together. The only thing, I was thinking about this, obviously they've been like interspersing High School Musical songs throughout this series, even more so I think than possibly last season. And they haven't yet done my favorite High School Musical song, which I think would be perfect for a Portwell breakup. Obviously it's gotta go my own way, the classic. But the amount of people that parodied that song is so good. And genuinely, I think I'd be okay with their breakup if they did it to that song. If we had a rendition of that song by Gina and EJ, I genuinely think I'd be okay with their breakup. That's how much I want to see it. So I'm hoping that we might get that song. If we don't, then obviously I'm still just going to be devastated. But if we get that song, yeah, fine, break up. I don't care. I mean, I care, but... I'm very nervous about this episode from things that I've seen. I haven't seen, like, clips or anything, but from, like, pictures and comments that I've seen. I feel like this is going to be a Rena heavy episode, which I've made my thoughts on that very clear. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, I've also decided that I'm kind of just done with even dealing with their relationship, the whole love triangle, I'm over it, and I'm now just going to focus on Ash and her love life. That's what I'm, I'm fully invested now in Ash and whatever the hell is going on with her love life. That's where we're at. Morning, guys. Come on in. We don't have much time. Take a seat. Oh. I was like, why is Gina looking at him like that? I forgot about the letter. Oh, okay. So we're starting off terrible on the Portwell side. Great, great. Nope. Oh, but you should ask Val. <laughs> I'm kidding, don't ask Val. Allow me. Watch what happens, fam. The real campers of- Castle. No, it's the real campers of Shallow Lake. Like the real housewives. Of course Carlos is into that. I love it. I was always destined to join. <laughs> I mean, you were. <laughs> Look, it's easy. You know how normally we act like regular people and we pick up on social cues and we care about each other's feelings? <laughs> do we? Yes, Ooh. we do. But, and now that's over. Each of you has a role to play today. I'm sorry, Carlos, did you cast this? <laughs> yes. I'm back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this season, I mean, Carlos is great, but this season they've really stepped it up. And I genuinely think that Carlos might be my favorite character from this season. Every single line that he delivers is so funny. He's the only joy I'm getting at the moment. And that's why you, Court, get to be the judgy one. Fair. <laughs> but do we want to look like villains on TV? I thought you'd want to go sympathetic. Yeah. Which is why you get to be the jilted ex. <gasps> You're the one with the catchphrase. Just say the same thing all the time in different ways. OK, that well, works. that's my phrase. Don't get me started. And you shouldn't. Oh my god. The sass that is being thrown at EJ this episode. I mean, yes, it's understandable. Gina is well within her rights to 
be this way. And also, we do have to keep in mind that how old is Gina? She's like 15. She's meant to be. It's hard to keep that in mind when they're played by people that are... I mean, obviously, Sophia is only like 18. But still, it's hard to keep in mind how young the characters are. And... It's easy to be like, it would be much healthier if you just had a conversation with EJ. But it's like, this is her first relationship. She's 15 years old. It's a very realistic portrayal of potentially what you would be like if you found out that your boyfriend was lying to you. And he's moving to St. Louis and uh, has been telling you that you're going to be spending all of next year together whilst he's on his gap year. Mm. I get it. Someone needs to run out of here crying. Someone needs to get slapped. EJ. Someone needs to throw a drink at someone. Gina. And someone needs to get caught on a hot mic saying something scandalous. Any questions? Oh, thanks, Val. Always helpful to get your behind the scenes take. <laughs> Start getting into character. There's no time to lose. And I don't even think they need roles. Gina is going to be stirring up a lot of drama. Just anyway. Nah. That was this terrible. I'm open to notes. Same. I can hit him for real. Thank you. No. <laughs> Safety first. I love every single scene that involves Ricky and EJ. Even, even, like, I'm so far deep in the RJ hole that I'm like, yes, yeah, slap him. At least you'll be touching him. Like, that's how deep I am in this hole. Try this. EJ, you've stolen the woman Ricky loves. Uh, you mean Gina? because she's EJ's girlfriend, so he stole her, or would have stolen her in the fake scenario. You've held a torch for her for years, and sometimes in this fake scenario, you even pretend to get lost with her in the woods, and then now it's weird because like she's in love with me. You're a camp. That was out of order. Like, that was not okay. Yes, EJ has done something wrong in not telling Gina about St. Louis. But EJ has done nothing wrong to you, Ricky. Yes, he dated Nene, but you were broken up at the time. And when he started dating Gina, you were with Nene. You don't own Gina. And you didn't own Nene. It just so happens that EJ has fallen for girls that you have been involved with. You have never dated Gina. You do not have any right to be angry at EJ for dating her. Like, that wasn't okay. I cannot believe that you just slapped him. I love Ricky, but that wasn't okay. Did I do it right? Yep. It's pretty convincing, yeah. Found my motivation. Hmm. Again? No. Jack, come here. She's his sister. Do you know Maddox? She's hot for you. <laughs> <laughs> but you, Jet, you have the hots for Courtney. Oh. Oh, Carlos, baby. No. I could see Jet and Courtney together, though. I feel like maybe that might happen. Oh, no. Courtney's with Howie. You know, there's a recipe to make oh, the no Carlos. Really? Uh huh. A little bit of you, a little bit of me, a part that loves to a loyal friend who is there, there no matter what, there, no matter <laughs> what <laughs> round belly and a big bouncy butt. You'll love warm hugs and the bright sun. Oh, Carlos looks absolutely fuming about this. Are we being punked? At this point, I'm legally a margarita. <laughs> And I'm realizing now I forgot to invite the girls to the pre-rehearsal meeting. Yeah, they've got no, no idea, idea what's going, going on. on. Come on! Let's get up. Ah! Oh, no, you did not! Shouldn't have gotten me started. Oops. <laughs> oh. oh, no, you hold on one second. This is, yeah, this is more like a drama reality TV show. As an actor slash director, I'm just proud to be flexing all my muscles this summer. EJ. I 
I love you. I love you. I don't care. And literally, EJ can do anything and I'd still be like, I love you. I don't care. Well, that's a little judgy. <laughs> well, you're a little loud and excitable man. What are you going to do about it? <gasps> Ow! My face! I've been slapped. Oh, no. That was terrible. This is the last song of the day, so let's go out and really sell it, capiche? Remember, Ricky, you've got unresolved feelings for Gina. Gina, you only know four words. It writes itself. Does it? Yeah. I mean, I don't like this, but yeah, he does have unresolved feelings for Gina. Like, boy can't make up his mind. What does he want? And he wants Gina now. He didn't always want Gina. He wanted Gina, and then he didn't want Gina, and then he wanted Gina, and then he didn't want Gina, and now he wants Gina again. And you're angry at your boyfriend and using your ex-boyfriend to get under his skin. Basically, have fun torturing EJ. That's exactly what she's gonna do. You've got opinions on my life and my relations, but let me tell you what. Okay, enlighten me. Love is the one thing that is zero. It's really hard because I love Sophia's voice and I love Joshua's voice so much and they sound fantastic together and I do not like a don't trip Rena at all. I personally feel that Ricky needs to be on his own because he's been terrible in a relationship before and I think that he needs to work on that before he gets back into another relationship. And I love Gina so much. And me saying how much I love EJ doesn't mean that I don't love Gina too. It's hard for me to watch them do this duet because I know that I'm going to enjoy it so much. Because they just sound fantastic. Taken in by princely looks. So oh, what do you know about love? Many steps for counting. And the work doesn't stop. Maybe for you. Love's not an easy climb. You have. Oh, if I was EJ, I would not be happy right now. Man, love's not a thing you get. It's work and tears and. Like, regardless, regardless of how I feel about Portwell and Rena, Gina is in a relationship. And using your ex boyfriend to make your current boyfriend jealous when you haven't told your current boyfriend why you're angry with him is not is not good at all like this isn't a good way to go about this like and i'm not trying to stomp on gina at all but there would have been way more healthy ways to deal with this situation this this isn't re this isn't really okay like I said, so what do you know about love? Wow, you're really strong. What do you know about love? <laughs> Lift a lot of ice. No, I'm not okay with it. As I said, regardless of my thoughts and feelings about Rena, Gina is in a relationship. She should not be starting, I mean, they're not that they're starting anything, but she should not be flirting so boldly with Ricky when she's still in a relationship with EJ. If you don't want to be in a relationship with EJ, break up with him. If you want to be with Ricky, break up with EJ. Wait, are you in character right now as the shrink? Wouldn't you like to know? I mean, I might. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I've always been interested in psychology ever since losing my unborn twin in prison during a recession. How are you so strong? What? Hey, I, I know today's a little weird, but I, I promise I'll have time to hang once this whole Corbin thing gets sorted out. Will you? Because I kind of feel like we're having totally different summers yeah, i know but tomorrow's gonna be better I promise okay you need to tell her ej you need to tell her i just didn't think my summer first would include my first boyfriend fight or 
no, it's not. It's not even a fight. It's like a one-sided confusion. It's because you're not talking to him. Yeah, I guess it's really hard not to just say what you feel. You know. Hey, break up the rebound, you two. I forgot something. All right, smile, guys. We're almost home. Almost home as in Salt Lake or St. Louis? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, are you confused? Welcome to the club. What well, is this about St. Louis? Gina, that wasn't the time. I know you're mad, but wow. What? Okay. I mean, that's one way to bring it up to EJ. Sure. I gotta beat Elsa by the end of the week, and if I can't land that high E flat, then, then they're gonna edit me out of the show. Oh, cool. Okay. Do you wanna take it down like a thousand? Being this anxious all the time is literally bad for your skin. Um, I'm that's sorry. not helping. What was that word? Anxious? Did you tell him what my mom. Wait. <laughs> I know Val is hard to handle sometimes. I used to crush on her too, but yelling at people is no way to express your. Romantic feelings. She doesn't have romantic feelings about <laughs> Val. Sorry. What? Wow, that's okay. I have a boyfriend. Did I miss an episode of our reality show? <laughs> Did you two know each other before camp? Yes. Maddie, I'm here, aren't I? I'm trying. Yeah, only because you were forced to come here after you literally got expelled from school. Explain why I lose all of my confidence when you're around me. And heck, Jet, why don't you explain why you told mom and dad about me and Madison when you found her texts in my phone? Oh, Jet. Okay. Yeah, that is, like, unforgivable. You outed your own sister. That is not okay. At all. What? I have done a terrible thing. Yes. I need to sit down. I need to lie down. <laughs> Whatever you saw in that letter, it's not what it looks like. St. Louis, EJ, you let me think we were going to be neighbors. And we will be. He's doing everything that he can to prevent that from happening. And I think that's why he didn't tell you. Because he doesn't want to believe it. And he genuinely thinks that he can do something to stop it from happening. But I'm not leaving Salt Lake without a fight. Then why didn't you just tell me? I don't want to feel like you're keeping things from me. Ever. Can I be Team Gina on this? Elton John Caswell. Did we know that his name was El We did not know that his name was Elton John. We did not know that. A lot of people have predicted that. I have seen a lot of people predicting that his name is Elton John. That is huge news. What? Wait, that's what EJ stands for? Huh. Rocket Man. Oh. Another thing I didn't know. That's why he's called Rocket Man. Oh. No. Which means Gadget knew. Everyone at camp knew. And he didn't tell Gina. Oh. Assumed you were like Eric Jr. My dad's name is Cash. <laughs> That is on brand. You guys! Yeah. Jet and Maddox are siblings? <laughs> I just... You just acted like an old version of yourself. I get it. Or maybe it's just the real EJ of Shallow Lake. I've been a bad guy to her for a long time. It's eating me up. I don't know. It's hard to describe. It helps. Sometimes we... We can't find the words, we just sing, sing. instead. Who's we? Theater kids. Us? The theater kids? I love that Ricky refers to himself as a theater kid now. Like, he has come so far from season one where he only joined Fanini and now he's a self proclaimed theater kid. Oh, so cute. Jilted X suits you, bro. He wasn't playing. Oh, no. I said, bro, and now you're going to reveal something. Between us? Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's possible I wasn't... I love Carlos so much. 
Oh no, I said bro, and now you're gonna reveal something. Oh, I love you, Carlos. Acting today, when I was pretending t to crush on Gina? I was wondering. Did it show? My straight jar is exquisite, with one notable exception mm. earlier. Oh no. That's not good. That is not gonna be good. He has such a beautiful voice. I know this is gonna be incredible before it starts. Back, you know I would. Mr. You and me that we used to be. Oh, I'm not His voice really is absolutely insane. This is so cute with them as kids. All I can do is try and hope you realize that my heart is in the right, right place. I, I, I really, really hope that they mend their relationship. He clearly cares about her so much. And she clearly does as well. That's why she's so hurt. I know I made some mistakes. Give it a little time. And you realize that my heart is in the right place. Is she leaving? No! Maddox, don't leave. What are you doing? Hey, it's me. How soon can you be here? Who's coming to camp? Who is coming to camp? The only person that I can think of is Nini. Who's coming to camp? Seb, please be Seb. I don't think it's Seb. I want it to be Seb. Who is coming to camp? Also, that song that Jet just sang, so catchy. I'm gonna be singing that all afternoon. It was so good. The original songs that they do in this show are always so fantastic and that's another banger. That was like a really mixed emotion episode for me. Um, obviously if you ship Rena then that was a great episode but I feel so bad for EJ. Obviously yes it's not great for Gina and her finding out about the lies is bad and EJ should have told her she's 100% right about that even though even if you know I understand why EJ didn't because he was trying to fix it um he should have told her anyway and I understand why Gina's upset about it but I just feel really bad for EJ as well though I'm so excited to see who comes to camp next episode like there's so many people <gasps> It's Miss Jen. It's Miss Jen. It's Miss Jen. It's Miss Jen. No, I've seen a picture. It's Miss Jen. No, I've spoiled myself. That will be fantastic though. Oh God, I can't wait. Oh, that's exactly who they need right now to bring them all back together. And I really hope that Court Courtney gets some help. She is struggling right now. It would mean the world to me if you would give this video a like. If you want to see more from me, then please subscribe to my channel. I am uploading my reactions to High School Musical, the musical the series every single week. So if you don't wanna miss any of them, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you would like to follow me on social media, I am at Jaffa Takes on both Instagram and TikTok. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time.